Good evening humans, Tyrannosaurus Moth here and tonight we're taking a look at the Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaurus series 135th scale Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Creative Beast Studios. I looked at the unpainted version of this figure about five months ago and uh, you know I love that one but the question is are there any non-cosmetic differences here or you know anything like that and overall like let's just have fun looking at this figure kind of again. So <laughs> uh, yeah let's talk about this figure and let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure is, perhaps unsurprisingly, absolutely gorgeous. Again, if you have any familiarity with the Beasts of the Mesozoic line, you know that they are putting just incredible amounts of detail into these, uh, especially the painted ones. The sculpts are absolutely immaculate. Just really good stuff. And, uh, you know, much as I said with the unpainted one, uh, this just highlights all of that gorgeous sculpt. And as you can see, like, I, this is the standard version. There were two other paints for this. There was one based off the um, Dino Riders, like Green T-Rex, and then there's a one from some other series. I know they, they took a vote and it was probably my least favorite, so I kind of just ignored it after it got chosen. But uh, I love this paint detail. Uh, David Silva, the guy who runs Creative Beast Studio, uses real life animals, mostly birds, to get the color schemes and uh, they always look great. And here is no exception as we can see some nice deep kind of amber browns uh, the highlighted by some kind of nice tan, uh, lots of shading, um, or kind of the beautiful use of highlights and washes. Uh, as you can see, the kind of keratin stuff here at the top, this nice kind of bony sort of gray. Really, really love the way that looks. Then we got those nice piercing green eyes. Just love that choice. It just looks right into you. Like, look at that. <laughs> and that brings us to the mouth, like very well painted. As you can see, they use a nice gloss here to kind of give that wet look. Uh, all the teeth are immaculately done. Um, and for the record, I have not painted my unpainted one yet. I'm still too afraid. And this one doesn't really make me feel any more easy about my abilities, but <laughs> still gonna give it a go. Um, Again, because this is going to be the kind of old Kenner Jurassic Park T-Rex look once I finally get up the courage. But uh, for this one, just really love that interplay. And then we get some very, very dark brown, almost black for most of the figure on the top. Um, just looks very, very nice. As we can see that kind of gradation into the, the underbelly. And uh, yeah, just a really, really nice looking figure. It definitely kind of highlights all those beautiful aspects of the sculpt as I had said before. So honestly, gorgeous figure and uh, definitely worth your time in that regard if you are hunting for one. So that's aesthetics. When it comes to accessories, of course, we get everything we got with the unpainted version just painted. And uh, you know, we'll start off, we get our base and really like what they did here. We got the little bit of like grass slash moss. Uh, yeah, we got the really nice look to the rocks themselves. I actually kind of like the, the semi-gloss they put on there, kind of give it more of a realistic look and uh, you know we got some kind of darker vines coming off here so very very nicely done uh, and then we got our metal pegs for the figure itself uh, speaking of the figure itself we get two sets of legs so right out of the box we are getting our just kind of or from the knee down we get these solid sculpts so that can stand for extended periods of time uh, and those have been valuable for the other one and then of course we get a set of legs that are articulated uh, so We'll get into that a little bit more in articulation, but uh, so there you go. And then we get a couple sets of feet which go with the articulated legs. Uh, so we get a set of kind of on the toes feet and then a pair of toes together feet. And then finally, uh, we get two more things. So of course we get our instructions so we know how to remove everything and how everything works. So we get that. And then finally we get, and I don't believe this came with the unpainted version. We do get this very nice card with the artwork that we saw on the box. Very happy about that actually, because I usually throw out cards, but honestly, this is what I'm gonna hold on to. So uh, yeah, very nice. That's accessories. Articulation here is still very fun, if not a little limited in places, but again, we will break it down from front to back. So we start with our hinged jaw. So we're getting about that far open. Uh, again, the top part of the mouth like doesn't really go up anymore, so that's about as much as we're getting. Our head is on a ball joint, so that's moving. Our neck is a floating piece, as you can see there. Uh, so I believe we have a ball joint here at the base and a ball joint here up at the top of the head. So we're kind of moving like that. So we're looking about that far up. 
and about that far down. And of course we're getting some side to side. I need to work with this one a little bit more. I did just heat it up, but again, these, these do take a little bit of work. So, you know, have, have patience with them. Uh, then we come down to the arms and we are in a hinge and swivel here. So we're coming up about that far, coming in all the way. Uh, we do have rotation there. Again, be very careful because this is very small. Uh, then we have a hinge for our shoulders. So we can, or for, for our elbows, pardon me. So we can straighten out all the way and come to about 90 and uh, get a wee bit of rotation, not too much. Then we come down to the diaphragm and there is a cut there. However, you're not gonna get too much. You're getting like the slightest bit of side to side, not really any up and down. Then we get our legs. And again, we have this deep cut, which allows us to rotate out and not really back. So we're getting about that far back, coming all the way up here, can actually pretty much go all the way up. There you go. So if you wanna see what the inside of that joint looks like, again, not, not the prettiest cut, but definitely keeps the, the sculpt a little bit better, especially in neutral. Come to our legs and for our knees, for me, these are definitely very stiff. Um, they're straight and we can bend to almost 90. Then the top of the foot, we're coming there, or we can completely straighten out. And then we have a ball joint for our toes. So you can kind of point, you can kind of come forward, you can get a little bit of rocker and some rotation. Then we come to the base of the tail. We are on a dumbbell joint, which starts, pardon me, I keep going behind the figure like you're gonna be able to see. <laughs> begins in the base of the body, and then there's one, that, and then it comes out into the tail. So we're getting a rotation there. Uh, so we're getting a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit side to side. Uh, same for here. So we have another ball joint there, giving us some nice rotation. And finally, we're getting a ball joint in the third segment. And as you can see from those holes, we do have a bendy wire. This feels a little more forgiving than it did on the grayscale. So uh, yeah, that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here they are with the Jurassic World Legacy Collection and Hammond Collection Rexies with some Hasbro and Mattel with some imports with some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiver's Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaurus Rex figure is that this is an absolutely incredible figure. And honestly, it straddles that line between figure and just posable work of art. Because once again, the detail in the sculpt and the paint, it just the, the love put into this is just beyond words. And I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, picking up something from Beast of the Mesozoic, if you're a dinosaur fan, like again, they've done Ceratopsians, they've done raptors and they've done tyrannosaurs. So, you know, they, they, there's a lot out there right now. They show no signs of slowing down. So I'm really excited to see where they go in the future. And uh, yeah, I was already excited because I had the unpainted one. This one just takes it to the next level, seeing how it can look painted up. And uh, this is my first piece of the Mesozoic figure that has been painted that I have my collection now. And, you know, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, if you're a, if you're a dinosaur fan, if you're a tyrannosaur fan, just pick this up and it is actually still available online uh, through Big Bad Toy Store, through Beast of the Mesozoic's online store, and uh, I think possibly everything dinosaur. So I'll put whatever links I can below, uh, I'll, whatever links I can find down in the description below. So check those out if you're interested. And with all that being said, I do hope you, that you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And if you want to take, take it to the next level and help me even more, tons of ways to do that in the description below. So please check those out. And uh, now that I've said all that, <laughs> uh, last thing I just wanna say is, you know, I, if you did like this video, I hope you join me again, because I do multiple videos a week uh, reviewing action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, um, pro wrestling, and more. So uh, if any of that is a, a like of yours as well you know please hit subscribe and let's uh let's talk about some figures so uh ultra thanks to you one final time for watching and i hope you take care of yourself take care of those around you and most importantly stay weird simians <laughs>